Good day everybody, it's Jerry from Backcountry Wrenching and today we're moving forward in a new direction. Gonna do something different. Last few years I've been working so hard building up my Jeeps <clears throat> and for the most part all the major mechanical work is done. <coughs> Excuse me. Unless something else comes along that I have to repair. Uh, I am getting a big brake kit for the TJ so that'll be another project that's pretty not intense, but fairly large, but I'm so happy. Finally, I got myself a little miniature overland trailer. <clears throat> and yesterday was so busy working on the Jeep, getting that oil cooler put in, had to run down the Princess Auto to make this work. I'll explain that in a second. That's the trailer dolly right there that I picked up. It might be a little on the small side, but this is the unit right here. <clears throat> I was just kind of going over it. So basically what it is, it is a wood shell with fiberglass over top of it. <clears throat> I am the third owner. Uh, the person I purchased it off was the second owner. And he did some things to it too. Like all the electrical stuff. I mean, this thing is set up. It is set up for solar, everything. Fire extinguishers in there. First aid kit. Dual battery tender. Solar setup. Disconnects. We have uh, dual yellow top batteries in there. We got a diesel heater in there. So in order to make the seven pin work, I had to wire up that just to get it home. Kind of janky how I zip tied it. But I also had to have a little extension. So one of the things I am gonna be doing is putting a max coupler on. So this will be cut out. We're gonna extend the tongue out a little bit. This storage, uh, I can get it open, was added in. Has a whole bunch of things. It has a spare diesel heater as parts but one of the things he said the previous owner is that he added this box so of course this is where your trailer jack is and now to put the box on it doesn't fit but that's not a big deal this thing's pretty light and i'm never going to use it anyways unless it's going to be parked we got stabilizers for the floor ramps pads carpet I am gonna have to get both Jeeps wired up for seven pin and then have a switch through my panel inside for auxiliary power to go to the back that I can charge the batteries when I'm driving and I think the max coupler will do pretty good got to extend a little bit because it is pretty tight but actually no it's not too bad at all. I think it'll work out. Some of the major things I'm going to be doing is getting rid of the school bus yellow. I'm going to Raptor line it so it matches my TJ. So obviously the fenders will be black. Frame will stay black. That toolbox in the front will Raptor line black. And then I'm going to Raptor line the thing the same color as my Jeep, which is Patriot Blue. I believe I still have some of that paint left. And it looks like I do have Patriot Blue left, so I'll be able to get some Raptor liner on there. I've been telling you guys before, I really wanted to get into an Overland trailer, a camper van or something. Saved up a bunch of money, and this came up. I got it for a pretty good deal. It does need a little bit of work, nothing major. Just kind of change it around to suit the needs that I want. I think for uh, backcountry camping, it's going to be awesome. It tows really well really well some people might question the distance between the fenders and the tires but this trailer is so light 
that it just bounces, doesn't even compress at all. So now, we looked at the back, it's totally set up for solar. Diesel heater tank on the side, I'm gonna change that out. I'm gonna change that to a stainless. And this is inside right here. This is inside, super nice inside. Uh, diesel heater controls is behind little bags there. You can see the exhaust coming through the side. Um, you might get up to the front there. You got a fan on the roof. And that's the cover for it. We got some shoe bags on the side. Little ledge there, queen size mattress. More storage on the side, LED lighting. Super nice inside. It's gonna be way better camping out in this. It's gonna be sweet. That window on the far side there does actually have an emergency exit, so if a bear's trying to get me through one side, maybe I can still escape to the other. There we go. Clean her up a little bit. Painter. Change out the hitch, lengthen it. Build some mud flaps. Fenders are a little on the narrow side, but I don't want to extend them. I'm just going to rubber the sides so that the rubber can stick out. That way, if I rub something, it's not going to get damaged. Probably, maybe. Uh, that's pretty sealed up still. I think uh, once I raptor line it, because all the corners and stuff are all fiberglass cornered. You can see some runs in the paint for whoever painted it, but raptor liner could cover up a lot of blemishes. All right, so buying this brings me to another little problem. So, as you can see, my gate's frozen in. There's no ice melt to be found in the city, so grab some charcoal from the fire pit. Actually, charcoal works really good. But my gate's going to be frozen in for a bit. But I am getting the storage yard, and this uh, utility trailer will be going to the storage yard once I can get it out, hopefully in a few weeks. So I'm going to be using the trailer for how it is for now until I can get it painted. But we're going to work on the other mods to start cleaning her up and getting her ready. So the bolt pattern is the same as the TJ, five by four and a half gonna have to look at shifting some of this stuff around because my ammo crates with all my stuff won't fit in the storage yeah but it's already wired for solar so that is a lot of money saved there and this is the solar panels here which is awesome I love the smell of the wood inside all right let's see if we can get this off put it down let's see how well this thing is to move in the snow, do some four wheeling. Uh. Uh. A little bit of an incline I had to overcome. I just finished emptying out the Jeeps. My garage is such a mess. I need to do something about it. Just brainstorming. 
brainstorming. I see the roof has some sort of rubberized coating on it, but I was wondering if I should somehow try to build like an aluminum, aluminum shell. Make it a little bit more durable. Question is, I don't know how this wiring is. How it's ran. That's something else I might have to check into. Got a little bit of fiberglass delaminating there. I'll have to cut away, repatch. Yeah, I'm thinking I might do the aluminum. I wonder how much aluminum it would cost. If you're gonna see up in there, but the electrical wires for the one marker light go across there, so I don't think that's gonna work too well. I need to clean those wires up too. Well, the old diesel heater, I don't need to carton that around. Box full of random bits. All right, so I've just been pondering for a while and I got myself a plan and what I'm going to do to this trailer to clean it up and make it look pretty sharp. So I am going to get some aluminum angle iron priced out, do the whole frame, box it in. I won't be able to weld it on the trailer. So I'm going to use wood inserts, drill, screw them in, and then these with sealant adhesive will be screwed into the body itself. And then for the end caps here, I will TIG weld up end caps. I'll go over top of everything, which will join everything together. And then on the bottom, because we got this delamination, which I think will always be an issue. I plan on getting some checker plate, possibly about six inches. We're gonna run it right from the frame all the way up to here, all the way across, just so that we get rid of that problem and go right behind the fenders. I think do that, box it in, paint it in rafter liner to match my TJ. Do some sort of another coat of roof sealant on the top. And I think, I think she'll be looking pretty sharp. I still realistically got another good month before I could really start heading out. I want to get this trailer like fixed up. So this is going to be my next little project for a little bit. And I think it's going to turn out pretty sweet once it's done. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so good. Got some things placed in the back. Should download the Bluetooth app for that. This setup is pretty sweet. So this here is for the batteries. So I can operate one battery. Or the other one. The other one's got a little bit more juice. Or I can put it straight down. And then both batteries are on. This here, down here is for the solar. So I plug in the solar, I can charge one battery, both batteries are the other, which is awesome. I like this setup. This solar setup has saved a lot of money. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. We're going to try this one out. Show Pony Aussie Pale 5%. That's kind of questioning. I don't even know how I even got a hold of this beer. Last best. It's Alberta Brewed or Alberta. So it's 
brewed in this province. I don't know. Show pony what? All right, shut her down. It's motherfucking beer time. I've already been scheming and planning that I figure for about $3,000 I can rebuild this trailer to the way I like it. I already got most of the parts on ordered, picking up a bunch next week. And when it's done, she's going to be pretty darn smoking. Got to get rid of that school bus yellow. It's just not cutting it. Just not cutting it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I can't wait to get this project going. It's still springtime. If I can get everything finished within a month, right when it's perfect time to start camping, that's what I'm hoping for. I'll see you guys later. Take care. I almost forgot. For those who are here for the beer, it's got an odd name, but it's not a bad beer. I'd probably take it camping. Take care.